people welcome back to the canada info up channel my name is wolo i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant i am based in manitoba canada it's a beautiful new year um the new year is still fresh 2023 it's not yet um well it will be seven days by tomorrow by the time i upload this video to be seven days so um first of all i just want to mention that somebody is using my video to do a sponsored ad i have actually you know called the person to stop that i put out a video and i also put it as a sponsored ad but and the person you know lifted my video blotted out my name and the person is using it to do a sponsored ad so if you see that and it is not canada info hub just know that it's a fraud yeah please i just said i should you know put this out there uh the fraud stars they are not relenting they were disturbing me sometime in 2021 slash 2022 no i would say 2021 most of 2021 i was having issues with um all these fraud guys using my video using, using my pictures and all of that and now that i'm back they are they have started again so i'm just putting this information out there that you guys should be aware if you don't see my name canada info hub if you see any maybe funny um whatsapp number so i don't put out my whatsapp number on my business pages you won't find it on my instagram you won't find it on my youtube you won't find it on any of the social media handles because i feel um i can't you know handle too much inquiries with whatsapp i'm putting this information out there um if you see that video and it is not a canada info hub video lights it's not on my page itself just know that the person is a scammer and a fraud star okay so that being said welcome to a new year um in my last video i mentioned i was going to talk about the caregiver pilot that's the home child caregiver uh, program and the home support worker program there are several caregiver programs in fact the history of caregiver programs in canada has been transitioning from one to another to another to another until they started one um, in 2019 which i want to talk about today um i don't want to make this video too long so wherever i stop i'll continue the, the video in the next in my next uh, video i'll continue talking about this pilot or this program in my next uh, video so for today um uh, I, I would i would just give a brief uh, background of the caregiver program in Canada. So, like I said, it has been transitioning, and several pilots have closed until this recent one, where they have to open it at the beginning of the year. People apply or submit the applications, and then they close it. And um, the slot is just two thousand seven hundred fifty slots for both the home child caregiver program and the home. Uh, support worker program is just 2750 slots that was given by the government of canada for people to apply for both permanent residents now there are two categories in this um, program there is the gaining experience category and there's the, the uh, category that has people who have already gained experience for the gaining experience category um it's for people who are outside canada who have gotten a job offer as a caregiver, they are required to apply for the permanent residence application first. Once they apply for the permanent residence application and it goes through, then they can now apply for the work permit application to come into Canada, gain two years work experience before they can now conclude on their permanent residence application. Whereas the other category, which is people who already gained the experience as they've already gained the experience in Canada, they can apply for permanent residence directly. They must have gained the experience for two years. Um, yes, 24 months is the requirement, minimum requirements to apply for permanent residence under that, that category. Now, that part, this particular program um, has a lot of demand. It has a lot of demand because a lot of people use it as a means of you know bringing their siblings in to come and help take care of their children um i'll give a typical example for instance if i want my sister to come help take care of my child i can ask her to apply for the home child care um pilot program 
and then if she's successful she comes take care of my ch ch children for two years and then the t um, in two years time she applies for or she continues the PR application so this is what a lot of people have been doing but recently the slots that have been the slots that IRCC shared or the slots that IRCC gave out is actually small too small for this particular program because the demand is very high and um it's difficult for people to get job offers from outside canada when i mean difficult there are a category of people that are already dominating this industry and they are the filipinos to be sincere these people are very good at caregiving all over the world they have a strong reputation for being good carers um people from the caribbean also um, jamaica bahamas dominica republic they also have a, a good reputation for being good carers but the people who are dominating this industry are the Filipinos. And one thing about Canada is once you have a reputation, everybody tends to look for people in that area. So you find a Filipino caregiver who is already working in, in Canada, taking care of somebody's child. Um, and then another person comes to ask, oh, do you have a family member or a person that you can recommend to come and work for me? And then they recommend their sibling. And that's how you find lots of Filipinos actually in canada who are working as caregivers like i said they are dominating this industry so it's very difficult if you're looking for a job as a child caregiver um to get such jobs from outside canada except you have a family member who's going to give you that job so i'm repeating myself again it is very difficult to get a job as a caregiver a child caregiver i'm using the word child caregiver because there are various categories of caregiving it's a very broad topic which i'm going to dissect in bit um, it's very difficult to get a job as a child caregiver because um, there is a group there are a group of people that are already dominating in this industry and they have the reputation of you know bringing their people in and recommending more caregivers from their country to come and work as caregivers in Canada another thing is that um, there's a requirement for you know child abuse check adult adult abuse check criminal record check which some of these countries can it's easily to get information from these countries about a person but um, when it comes to africa i'll use nigeria as an example it's difficult for you to get a child abuse check and adult abuse check um, from nigeria so if a nigerian is looking for a job as a child caregiver um, the employer will be asking these questions i've had a case scenario like that one of my clients who um, was looking for a job as a child caregiver she actually got the employer to want to employ her because the employer was desperate in, look, in getting a child caregiver but the employer was now asking how do i get um, a child abuse check adult abuse check a criminal record check and nigeria doesn't have these records in place so these are the the, uh, the challenges that uh, people from africa Typically Nigeria, I don't want to generalize the word Africa because there are other places in Africa you can get these records. But Nigeria, it's very difficult for you to get these kind of checks, except uh, maybe the person is working in a developed country like the UK or the US where they can actually pull the information out. In those situations, yes, they can get those records. But when it comes to getting those records from Nigeria, it's not possible to get those records. Therefore, the employer will be left with no choice than not to proceed with hiring someone from Nigeria. So these are the challenges that faces people who are looking for child caregiver jobs. The only way out, that's from my own opinion, it's my own opinion, you can have your own suggestions after this video. The only way out is if you have a family member already living in Canada and the family member is um, financially okay, has a good job, has the financials to, you know, hire you as a caregiver, then you talk to the family member. If it's your cousin, if it's your sibling, if it's your friend, you can talk to them if they can hire you as a child caregiver to come help them take care of their children um, in Canada. And of course, they have to pay you the uh, the wage that is approved for uh, a home child caregiver provider so this is one area i said i was going to talk about on this video for people who have been asking that oh i want to come and work as a child caregiver i can take care of children 
these are the challenges especially for people from nigeria it is very difficult getting job offers in this category i will talk about other areas and also um, prefer strategies on how to overcome these um, situations of not being able to get job offers under this area but one thing you should know it is a, it is quite competitive at the beginning of this year they opened the slot and within three hours the slot was closed that's it's very competitive getting to submit your application for pr under the gaining experience category especially if you don't have the experience already in canada so it's very very competitive um it will be better to look for an alternative strategy towards coming to canada instead of uh, being um instead of dwelling on this particular category but you also have the home support worker pilot program which i will talk about in my next video but i just said let me share this information especially for those who have been asking the questions that they want to come and work as child caregivers it's very difficult getting a job for nigerians um in summary it is dominated by the Filipinos and they have already built a good reputation as good caregivers and um, the slots is very the slots are limited you just have 2750 slots very very limited slots um, in applying for permanent residency and if you don't apply for permanent residency you cannot apply for work permit um, this is the information I said I was going to share today uh, if you need one-on-one -on -one consultation session, I would say you should book on my website, caninfoconsult.com. I also want to use this opportunity to announce that the webinar, I am putting details in place. Once everything is finalized, I would announce it for um, your information. So if you've not filled the form go ahead and fill the form because i'll be sending out um, emails once we are ready to host the live webinar on how to search for jobs thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye